With this endless parade of distractions and political posturing and phony scandals, Washington's taken its eye off the ball. And I'm here to say this needs to stop. Question, does the president think that the IRS targeting of conservative groups is a phony scandal? The president has made clear, I have made clear, that the mistakes that were made in judgment, very bad judgment, managing the 501c4 program were unacceptable and they had to be fixed. He so that was not a phony he, scandal? Well, he appointed an acting IRS commissioner who has taken decisive action, clearing out all the people who had supervisory responsibility for any of the decisions leading up to that. He's put in place methods to make sure it doesn't happen again. I think that we have to like, look at the facts. There have been a lot of investigations. There have been a lot of hearings, IGs, the Justice Department. There is no evidence of any political decision maker who was involved in any of those decisions. And I think the attempt to try to keep finding that evidence is creating the, the kind of sense of a phony scandal that was being referred to there. Well, let me, there let me, was a problem. The problem has been addressed. And there was no political involvement that there's any evidence of. Well, let's talk about that. On May 15th, the president directed you to investigate the IRS scandal. Again, take a look. I directed Secretary Liu to follow up on the IG audit to see how this happened and who was responsible and to make sure that we understand all the facts. So if this is supposedly behind us, it's been more than two months since he directed you to lead the investigation, explain to me how it was that conservative groups were targeted by the IRS. Well, look, first of all, Chris, what we found out as we went through to find the facts is that there was equal opportunity, bad judgment. It was conservative groups, it was progressive e at, groups. At equal numbers or not grossly yeah. disproportionate conservative well, there, groups there, over there progressive? There are equal number of groups. Uh, the, 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 the bad judgment was equal opportunity. But uh, not the was, number of groups. No, but it was like, it was I, I think uh, you, over 100 it, as compared to maybe a dozen. But, uh, you know, you have to look at how many cases of each there were. There, the same and, who, and who was responsible for it, so, sir? Look, there were a number of supervisors, all career, who exercised bad judgment, who were relieved of their responsibilities. Um, they, they, I think that what happened there is um, is unjustifiable. It is not acceptable to have the kinds of screening for left or right, liberal or conservative, where you're targeted in any way for your views. Well, There's no political official who condoned it or authorized well, it. Well, let me ask it, let me ask you about that because an IRS official, Carter Hull, told Congress this week that he was ordered to send applications from two Tea Party groups for tax exempt status to send them to the IRS Chief Counsel's office. That's William Wilkins, who's a political appointee. As as a political appointee, he reports to you, to your office. Have you asked William Wilkins, the IRS chief counsel appointed by President Obama, what involvement he or his office had in all of this? Now, Chris, uh, to be clear, there are 1,600 lawyers in the chief counsel's office, and there was no suggestion that this went to the one political person in that office. There's no evidence of it. There has been well, no I, evidence of it. Well, wait a minute. I, I, have you asked him? Chris, I, I, I'm leaving the investigation to the proper people who do investigations. I, I don't think it's appropriate for me to do the investigation. Has somebody, there and, are has somebody in the Treasury there Department are a lot of asked, questions being has somebody asked. in the Treasury Department asked William Wilkins what he knew about this. Chris, there is no evidence that this went to any political official. Well, there hasn't been an investigation. The Justice Department investigation isn't complete. The Inspector General never conducted an investigation. He conducted an audit. So who, where's the investigation? I, I, an awful lot of time has gone into asking a lot of questions of a lot of people. I'm not saying it's done, and we will cooperate with all of the ongoing investigations. We have and will. Um, I'm just challenging your assertion that there, something has been shown when no evidence has been produced to show it. I, I'm just wondering why the questions haven't been asked. Well, we have to look at evidence that comes forward and respond to it.